Do I live in an alternate universe? The media tell me we all now live in Coke land, the Koch brothers, libertarian utopia. That's the far left media, but people on the right also say. Our leadership class remains resolutely libertarian. They do? Who? President Biden? Bigger is better now, not spending less. No, not Biden. I do support a $15 minimum wage. Definitely not Biden. Maybe when they write that a libertarian fantasy is now our reality. They meant the election of Donald Trump. Let's cut the red tape. But Trump increased military spending. $738 billion. And he increased our debt by trillions. He also vilified trade and immigrants. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Libertarians believe trade and immigration are good for America. With his libertarians failing in politics, how can both left and right say libertarian ideas are winning? In a way, we are winning. David Bowes of the Cato Institute. Over the past couple hundred years, we've moved from a world where very few people had rights and markets were not free to a world that's mostly marked by religious freedom, personal freedom, freedom of speech, property rights, markets, the rule of law. For most of history, no country had that. For maybe 10,000 years of recorded history, in all of that time, there was practically no economic growth, no increase in human rights and justice. Kings and tyrants ruled. They confiscated property, took and kept slaves. They waged war for decades at a time until around 1700, suddenly limited government and property rights and markets came into the world. The result was a sudden increase in prosperity. What was GDP per capita in the world? Well, it was this for almost all of history, and then it did this. Americans are now 30 times richer than we were 200 years ago. It's hard to believe, because we're constantly told. The rich get richer, and the poor get poorer. The majority of Americans keep getting poorer. But that's just not true. When America began, rich people were poorer than poor people are today. Back in colonial America, you were traveling and you wanted a place to sleep. You'd go to an inn where everyone shared a bed with others. Even the founding fathers. John Jay didn't like the fact that he had to be sleeping with strangers and picking up bed bugs and lice, four people at a time in these beds. It's not like that anymore. And that's the increase in wealth that's unimaginable to us. It's hard to get your brain around how much richer we are. Benjamin Franklin and John Adams stopped for the night at an inn and there was only one bed available. So Benjamin Franklin and John Adams had to share this bed. And then they fought over whether the window should be open. And these were the elite of America. They were the most respected, we would say the most important Americans. And yet, Benjamin Franklin and John Adams can't get separate beds when they stop at an inn. When markets are free and private property protected, entrepreneurs innovate in ways that now allow ordinary people to live better than kings once did. Consider Louis XIV, the Sun King. Louis chose from 40 dishes every night, taking 498 people to prepare each meal. He was rich, but today's average person can go into a supermarket and buy a fresh, frozen, tinned, smoked or pre-prepared meal made with beef, chicken, pork, lamb, fish, eggs, potatoes, beans, carrots. Add all this up and you realise that you have far more than 498 servants at your beck and call. In a sense, we're all kings now. Because of the steady progress made possible by free markets. You can watch television or listen to the radio and never hear about the steady day-to-day, year-to-year progress. So they tell us about cancer clusters. Cancer clusters in Southern Florida. We can forget the big picture, and it's important to remember the big picture so that we don't lose it. The big picture includes living longer. President Calvin Coolidge's teenage son was playing tennis on the White House tennis court and he got a blister on his foot and the blister got infected and the health care available to the son of the president of the United States was not sufficient to keep him from dying. 
We also barely notice that there's been progress in fairness and decency. We've moved from some people have privileges that others don't to human rights belong to women and black people and gay people. The direction of history has been in the direction of markets, personal freedom, human rights, democratic governance, and that's what libertarians have been advocating. I hope you'll share and like this video. When you do that, it helps us. And if you'd like to help us produce more of these, please click that button.